Today, we're going to look at how to set up your rules. I'm first going to start with showing you how to set up your rules for a bidirectional flow, and then we'll look at a one-way flow. No matter the tool, this will be the same process. There's going to be two rules that will be created by default by Unido when you first launch your flow. A status is open rule and creation date is on or after the date that you launch the flow. So for status is open, what this means is that Unido will only sync over cards, issues, or items in general that are open. This means not closed or not archived. On some of our plans, we do support the option to sync archived items or closed item. For some tools that do not have a closed or archiving system, this rule will not appear as an option when you go to set up your flow. In this case, this is between Outlook and Airtable. These are both tools that do not have a way to close or archive the item. Therefore, you only see the creation date rule. Now, to go more into detail about this creation date rule, the date that you see will be the date that you create your flow. What this means is that only issues, items, cards, rows, etc. that were created after you launch the flow will be able to sync over. Once you've done your testing and everything looks good, you can just go ahead and delete this rule. And this means that items created before this time will be able to sync over. So depending on the tool that you have connected, you will have different options here. So this is Jira Service Management, which has a lot of different custom fields and options. Each of our tools that we support has an article in our help section, which inflates all the fields that we have and support as rules. So for example, over here, I've got a label rule selected, which means that only issues with the label Trello Sync will be able to sync over. I can also always add some more labels so that this is a multi-select rule. For example, I can select all of these. As long as an issue has one of these labels, it will sync over. You can also add multiple rules. So let's say you also want to have an assignee rule. This means that your issue will have to abide by both rules. So it will have to abide by the assignee rule and the label rule at the same time. Now, you can see on this side, it says set default list to. So this is what we've set as a rule on our Jira side. Now this is what will be received on the Trello side. If you don't yet match up a list in terms of your map, map fields, which we'll show in a different section, we just need a default column or a default place for your Trello cards to go to in this case. So for example, the default list has been set to in progress. However, you could also change it to a new request if you wanted to. Now, since this is a bidirectional flow, we're going to have to set up rules on the other side as well. You can use a list rule, label, or member. This is for Trello. You can also use custom fields. Your item always has to abide by your rule. So for example, here we have a list rule in Trello, which means that the card has to be in this list in order to sync over to Jira. If you moved this card out of this list, then it would no longer be in sync and the copy over in Jira would be archived. So make sure to use a rule you are sure that your item will continue to abide by. Let's look at a one-way flow. Now I've changed the flow direction from two-way to one-way. As you can see, there is now only the Jira section. The above part is the same. The only different part is the bottom, which is the receiving side. What you can do is you can add some defaults. So for example, if you wanna set a default label for when the car arrives in Trello, However, the one thing to keep in mind is that these default work the exact same way as a rule. What this means is that this item will need to stay in the list request to be approved in order to continue to stay in sync. So that was it on how to create your rules. Thanks for following along.